A few hours ago, I had the pleasure and privilege of speaking with Richard Jones, Managing Director of Starkey UK and Ireland, about the exciting new Starkey Genesis AI product that, having already been launched in the US, has now just come to the UK. So this is the chat we had about that. Looking forward to fitting our patients very soon. Let me know your thoughts. Hi, so it's Matthew Pearson from Zone One Hearing, and I'm very excited to be joined by Richard, who is going to tell us all about the Starkey Genesis AI product that, although it's already out in America, has just been launched in the UK, and we're very, very excited about it. But um, obviously, Richard knows a little bit more about it than, than we do as audiologists, so we're just going to sort of ask him a few quick questions and just uh, see why he's so excited about this particular product. So, Far away, Matthew. Far um, away. Well, I mean, the first thing is, I mean, we always hear every time we go to a launch, there's the XYZ hearing aid, and it's better than the predecessor. Why is this better? than the hearing aid that's gone before it. What does it do differently? Is, is it slightly better? Is it like, you know, five, 10% better? Or is it is it significantly better? What would you say? So that's where the assumptions are wrong. Hmm. Okay. Because this product has been built from the ground up. Mm -hmm. So Achim Bomek, who we saw at the launch today that, yeah. that, that, that we've had, who's our VP of, of, of R&D, he was brought in and told, right, forget any preconceptions about what a hearing aid should be. Mm -hmm. You build me the best hearing aid in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that was five years ago. Wow. And six months ago, <laughs> that came to fruition in, in, in the US and obviously today and yeah. um, across Europe um, this week. And I think we've been hassling you on the phone going, yeah, why, why when, when can we have it? When can <laughs> we have it? Yeah. Um, but the, the, the key differentiator really is, is uh, the technology on the chip. Mm. Okay, so um, as I mentioned in, in, in the presentations today, um, this, is t uh, this is microchip technology leading. It's not just hearing aids, mm. you know, this, this is global leading within microchip technology because it's the only chip to have a physical deep neural network sat on the chip. Mm. Mm. So, so it's not embedded in software that's then downloaded onto oh. a chip. Yeah. It's a physical deep neural ne um, network on the chip itself, mm -hmm. which means you can process things a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. You can use much less energy stream processing the same things at the same time. Yeah, mm -hmm. We've increased the dy dynamic range by 20 dB, so it's far mm. clearer in, in, difficult in difficult situations, but far quieter and transparent in these you know, much quieter situations mm. that we kind of find ourselves uh, in now. So also with that deep neural network, um, because those energy streams are, uh, are, are used much less to power more, mm, yeah, mm. battery life has gone through the roof. Yeah. Which sounds like a real contradiction, doesn't it? It does, it does. Yeah. But that's the power of having that physical network on the chip. Mm, mm. Okay, so our um, uh, Genesis AI RT with a teleco will go for 52 hours. Mm, mm. It'll stream for 33 hours consistently. Wow. Your Apple AirPods will stream for about six to eight. Mm -hmm. I think if you're Pretty lucky, impressive, yeah. isn't it? That's very, very, yeah, it's mind blowing. <laughs> it yeah, mind -blowing. So, and, I, and I think you, you know, there's a. Sorry about the siren. If you can hear that in the background, um, I think a word we often hear associated sometimes with hearing aids, which we hear also associated with the current range of um, electric cars, is range anxiety. Exactly. And if somebody's been used to throwing a battery in there as soon as one conks out, the thought that they could be wearing a hearing aid, something critical comes up and they miss it, means some people are still very cautious about embracing the lithium-ion technology. So what's going to happen though in a year's, two years time? Are people still going to be able to get a full day's worth of use out of these? So in year seven, mm -hmm. so seven years from opening the box, you'll still get 16 hours, which wow. arguably, you know, is, would, a full is, day plus, is, is, is a full day plus. However, yeah. if you're looking at um, year three, so in mm. three years time, you will get the same out of a, a, a Genesis AI now mm. um, as our closest competitor, brand new. Wow. Okay. So you need to run it for three years mm. yeah, and drain it for three years before you get to our nearest competitor. Yeah. That is pretty amazing. And there are still, I'm not going to name names, but there are still some products out there which I wouldn't be fully confident prescribing for a patient who's what I'd call a sort of a heavy power, power user that yeah. they'd get through the entire day. So, I mean, I think this is impressive. And then of course, if that person came in with a rival product and then it's conked out, 
and you've got to set up and loan them alternative devices, they've got, then got to go away. So there's that fear factor. And I think when you've massively over-engineered a product, so you know what, what's your average person going to wear a hearing aid for? 12 hours? If you've got 51 hours, have I ever fallen asleep with my hearing aids in my ears, had an important meeting the next day? Oh my <laughs> goodness, I have. But knowing that you can power through the whole next day and it's not going to be an issue, I think yeah. is very confidence inspiring. So I'm yeah. really looking forward to physically getting my hands on them. So, yeah. I mean, as we are present date, the 19th of October, are they physically available in the UK or what's yep. the lead time? They're available now. Yep. Available now. Well, okay. what's the date? 19th. 19th. Yeah, okay. Tomorrow. Tomorrow they're yeah. available. Yeah, Excellent. They're, they're available to, to order. So look forward to a massive order from you, Matthew. I'd, yeah, no, I, th I think <laughs> I think you will find the, there's already some very interested parties coming to Zone One. So yeah, I think that may well be the case. Good. And in terms of the the in the ear, is is it just the, just the behind the ear that's coming out? Is that oh, all it is? Or? So that's another thing that we're really proud of, mm. and what we um, um, achieved with our evolved product as mm -hmm. well was we brought the whole product line to market at the same time. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, as of now, you will have your customary chargeable mm -hmm. um, IT, ITCs, ITEs, um, CIC, IIC, yeah. wow. uh, Rick RT, MRIC, RIC 312. Wow. The one thing we're waiting on is wireless CIC for Genesis. Right. That should be with us, hopefully, Touchwood uh, mid-November, mm. uh, and then the BTE uh, as well. So yeah, pretty much a full portfolio of product for you to choose the right, um, the right solution for the patient now, mm. rather than having to wait another six months for the custom whatever it might be. And, that, yeah. and that's that's fairly unusual. So no, that, yeah. that's something to be celebrated. So yeah, that, that I'm, I'm very excited. Good. Yeah, I mean, obviously I know you guys were here or some of you may have been, but yeah, this just felt like, you, you know, you can tell people aren't going through the motions. They're genuinely excited. Ridiculous amounts of effort have gone into this product. And I, I think what's exciting, people who've come in from outside of the industry and also people applauding this new product are applauding it from outside of the industry, which, you know, you can see hearing aids as being, you know, not that exciting a, an area to talk about. So when you've got sort of people coming from other industries talking about how exciting the product is, then yeah, I mean, that really makes you pay attention. So yeah, looking forward to our patients getting fitted. So um, like to know what you think. Um, thanks for watching, Matthew from Zone One Hearing, and this gentleman here, the big boss man from <laughs> the UK and Ireland, and hopefully we'll be talking to him very soon. So thanks for Richard for having a chat with us. Very no much appreciate his time. Thank you.